Okay guys, you can see the video is starting off with me being in my house. I'm showing an empty house view. So you have my first room. This one is going to be Kamari room. And then you got my master bedroom. Which I go all into the closet and things like that, which is really unnecessary. But this is Kamari room after me and her dad painted it. We did um, abstract walls to kind of give it an offset. So, yeah, it's pink and mint. Okay, so as you guys can see, step two is decorations. So, I already had the dresser, her teddy bears, with five, some of those. The board, shelves, and plants are from uh, Five Below. We got that picture from Burlington's. It is all one. My mom had that shelf and some stuff I got on there. I'll talk later on in the video in her nursery uh, final tour. We got the rug from Ollie's and the hamper in the picture. Okay, so here I was showing the baby shower stuff, which was the swing, the basket. People had signed a sign at her uh, baby shower. There's all our family members' signatures and things like that. My auntie bought um, a playpen. His friend bought a chair for her to sit in. She has way a lot of bears that people bought her in this drawer. It's her pacifiers, hooks, teethers, things like that, which I did end up organizing differently, which you'll see later in the video. Burp cloth was also in that drawer. And then you have bibs, head bows, hat, socks, things like that that was in this drawer. So over there, I did talk a little bit more about the stuff up there, which was a soft piggy bank from his mom. She had her bottles and things like that sitting on the cart. Um, I mean, on the storage, I'm sorry. But I will talk more about that in depth later as well. And this is also all the stuff from her baby shower. She has three diaper bags, bath stuff, and body. I was showing the bag my god sister had bought. This video I was originally recording to show my grandma. So... <laughs> Yeah, but blankets and she got onesies that I hung up, bibs, and all of her clothing. I am going to hang her clothes instead of putting them in drawers. At the top, you have a quilt and all of those. There's pampers as well, along with whites. Those next two rows. Then you have some other clothes that I didn't hang up. So yeah, that's her closet, which most of this stuff stayed the same. In the final clip of the overall room, I'm going to talk about all that and um, make some additional comments. But yeah, so that was her room. Okay, guys, so this would be the last part of her um, nursery tour. So we're going to start here from the front door. And some things did stay the same um, in I took some things out and put them up, things like that. So this rug I got from Ollie's is just a white and gray rug. And her crib is gonna go there. Um, for now, I got her clothes that's just in here, which was some Burlington's. I got my rocking chair and a quilt that my granddad gave her. Um, so yeah, that's just that. I got my breast friend <laughs> or however they said it um, from Amazon. The swing and it is manual play music and things like that. And rock back and forth this way. And also vibrates. So up here is her bears that she got from the baby shower and also a few of them are mine in the top of her drawers and we still have to buy some pretty drawer knobs because i have the ones that came with it but i necessarily didn't like them so in this top drawer i did organize the items and in this first thing i just have her 
um, thinking holders. In the second one, I got teethers and toys. This one is empty. More teethers and toys. Back here, I have extra combs and brushes. This is the age organizer that I have in her closet that you guys will see the bigger ages that of clothes I don't have right now. And then this is a clothes cover. In the second drawer, and it's all the same things. I just organized them, obviously. So her headband, bows, all her different color hats. I got mittens and socks. The third drawer, I keep all of her bibs in, which I need to put some on my night's um, nursery. And I have bright cloths. In the fourth drawer, she has extra clothes that I didn't hang up. That I actually could hang up now that I have the hangers, which I probably will. Her board with her dad messages on there and night lights over here. So we talked about the picture already, which is some burlatins. Her piggy bank, her um, grandmother bought her. And a jar of her passes, which I have more passes by the bed. Her bottles that I have to sanitize in these two rows. Then down there is also bottle stuff and cup, spoon, bottle cleaner, stuff like that. I have a Nike set on this row. Then I have socks and shoes that's pretty in, in a box on that row. And a book and a little toy dog. This cart i originally bought for the bedside nursery but i didn't like how it was on there so i just said it for here for now and these are just refillable bags for her genie in her closet i have my with well, a hospital bag my hospital bag which also contains my boyfriend's stuff and her hospital bag that's how big it is so it literally holds all of our stuff i kept the genie box just because a changing pad a sit and play over there in the corner another swing that's gonna go to my mom's house and a tummy time play mat that i have there i ordered all of her diapers by sizes so the first row is newborns the second row is ones and start off with twos the third row is twos, continue to three and fours over there. These are wipes, and I did the same thing up top with newborn, ones, twos, threes. That's wipes all right there. This is a cushion, car seat cushion, which I don't know if I'll be using this or not um in her car seat when it comes and in this container i just have all her bath towels in there over here i once again still have the blankets i put a few hangers because i did buy baby hangers so i hung them up i put her swaddle and robe on this side cute little bibs onesies and more hangers and like i said i bought organizers so it's all her newborn clothes here. Then zero to three here. Six to three start. And then six to nine. Kind of like a store almost. So she ended up having four baby bags. I got another baby bag after the first clip I recorded. I got her baby bags. It's a train in here from my granddad. At the bottom and just some extra blankets that I put in there. Then I have all of my... um bath stuff and breast milk in there and this is extra because i do have some other butt paste and stuff like that on her night sand nursery on her night sand nursery but yeah that is it so this is basically the completion of her room the only thing that's missing is her crib which we still waiting to come but yeah this is it guys so this will be the closure of her nursery I want to thank you guys for watching all the way through in the journey and getting Kamari's room ready 
and she's ready to go she's basically here we have a few more days maybe a week two weeks at the most but miss maria be here before we know it and her room is completely ready and waiting on her thank you guys for watching bye